Hello everyone, my name is Jessica. I'm a California native who just so happens to sing opera. This particular video is super special because it features three black sopranos singing three different art songs. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and after you've watched, if you liked what you see, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below on what your favorite art songs are and who sings them. All right, let's get into the first video. The very first video is Nacht und Träume by Schubert, and it is sung by the fabulous Miss Barbara Hendricks.
That seriously gives me so many chills. This song is so hard because of how long the phrases are. And what she does so well is you can tell she knows how to utilize the air that she takes in. She has no troubles getting through these phrases despite how how long the, the melody is. And what I really love particularly about her singing this piece is how focused her her vowels are on the correct note. As soon as she starts singing, you hear her vibrato and you also just hear the clarity of the tone, which is really hard to get to. Sometimes it's easy to kind of start a little bit slightly off pitch, either below or above, and then as it's like milliseconds in or, or however long, you finally get into it just slightly after the pitch, but she nails it literally on the spot that she comes in on. I don't know, it makes the entire piece so sonorous and aesthetically pleasing to to the ear. I'm looking at the sheet music. My favorite line in this piece is on the phrase Die Belauschen sie mit Lust. That melody is so beautiful. How it dips down to, it looks like a, a G natural up to an E, E natural, then down to a D5. It's so beautiful. Um, and how she's able to sustain that phrase. It's right in the passaggio, sitting on an E, but she sings it so softly um, without pushing it, which is why she's able to get through the phrase. But how she, how she just dips down into that G and then goes right back into the E without scooping, it's so, so, so nice. Bravo to the pianist, playing so gently. I think they, they sang really, really well together and did a fabulous collaboration. Yeah, by far one of my favorite pieces by Schubert. I'm super excited for this next piece. This is Ricky Ian Gordon's song, Will There Really Be a Morning? And it is sung by fabulous soprano Camelia Johnson. She looks so good just standing there.
she mixed up the words a little, but she recovered. Yes, that's right. Brava. How could you not love Ricky Ian Gordon? Such a fabulous composer. I actually sang this particular art song in an audition to get into my master's program, which just brings back so many nice memories of that particular moment. What I loved that Miss Johnson did was how much of a difference she made the B section when the same lyrics came back for a second time. It really showed just how different you can make one question sound. The second time that she sang it, it just sounded much more powerful and much more demanding, but also more of a cry of a question of will there really be a morning? Just, just brava. Let's move on to the next piece. I'm a sucker for Ricky Ian Gordon. This last piece is by him and it's called A Lullaby. It is sung by soprano Audra McDonald. You're in for a serious treat. Let's listen. <laughs> Sleep. 
That final breath that she took after the final wake was like this huge release. This is one of my top 10 favorite uh, YouTube videos to watch. The gradual buildup in this art song is mind-blowingly good. It starts off so soft and crescendos over the course of time of the art song into that final climax on the word wake and she does it so brilliantly her and the horn and the orchestra do that really really well brava uh love this performance that concludes this video if you liked what you saw please consider subscribing leave a comment down below on what your favorite art songs are and who sings them i'd love to go and listen to different renditions of the same art songs it was nice catching up with y'all and i will see you guys soon Ooh.